Hello everyone, Technotim here. Today we'll be looking at Ace of Spades aimbot for the classic version 0.75. So this this page will be um, rank one on pretty much any search engine of your choice. All right. So first you'll want to go to this page, click download Ace of Spades aimbot, save the file. It's pretty easy. All right. Now you're gonna want to open these files. Okay. So copy these out somewhere that you'll probably remember. So let's put it in my space folder. I'm just gonna make a little folder called aimbot. Paste the file in. All right. So that's that's uh, extracting the files right there. Let's see. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna join an Ace of Spades server. So just go to buildandshoot.com. Click on the play slash server list. It'll come up on this nice list. We'll try out. Aloha.pk Counter-Strike Maps. Alright. And um, when it loads, use Alt-Tab or the Windows and D keys to switch out and go back to your original file, wherever I put that. Um, Alright. So use Injector.exe to insert your yellow file. So let's scroll down the client and um, you'll just want to add whatever your yellow file is. Okay, inject that. Okay, once it says successfully injected, it has to also say the path. Then then you know that it is successfully installed, so let us go back to Ace of Speeds. Alright, let's try it out. We're going to join uh, the green team. You should be able to press insert. Yes, and we have our hack menu. Alright. This is an arena based game mode, so we're going to have to wait to respawn, but while we're waiting. I recommend having your aimbot only on FOV because 360 degrees is pretty obvious when you're snapping to someone behind you. Also, um, if you're using ESP, it's very useful, but make sure not to kill people that you wouldn't have regularly noticed. For example, right when you spawn in the game, if you see someone behind your base or under the base, I recommend not going to kill them because sometimes admins will just TP under the base where no one should suspect them of being, and then if someone digs down to right where they are, they know that person's using the ESP. Alright. Um, for this aimbot, the only aim key available is E, so you're going to have to press E to fire with the aimbot. Alright. Um, also, don't use obvious hacks like Turbo Spade, Big Shot, No Recoil, No Spread, Fast Water, etc. on mainstream servers like this one, Aloha.pk, unless you want to be banned quickly. Uh, I made that mistake multiple times, but hopefully today it won't happen. Alright, wow, this round is taking a while, so while it's going on, let's take, take some time to discuss some common issues. A lot of people complain about the aimbot working originally, but then it stops working when they restart um, Ace of Spades. This is actually a common issue every time you restart. Alright, round about to begin. But every time you start Ace of Spades again, like connecting to a new server, you're going to have to reselect client. And even though it looks like you still have selected it, you have to reselect it from the blue magnifying glass. Alright. Okay, so really no clue what's going on here, but. Let's try this out. Obviously, we can see all the enemy players, and we should be able to see them on the map as well. Um, yeah, we need to turn on radar hack. Um, looks like we're near. Okay, that was not so good. Um, yeah. So basically, he snaps to them, and then you shoot. So we'll try that out next round, now that I'm, again, familiar. I haven't used the aimbot in a few years, but I asked to do this tutorial for you guys. Alright, so on to those common issues again. Um, let's try and spectate some of these guys already. Alright, so, 
if injector.exe says it injects successfully, but it does not display the DLL's path below it, it has not injected successfully, so go reselect the DLL before you inject again. Alright, also, if you are looking at the blue magnifying glass uh, list of process IDs and you do not see the playing card logo, but you do see a BNS or other launcher logo, you need to launch the game directly without the build and shoot launcher. Right? Um, also, if you're trying to inject open spade or something else than ace of spade 0.75, it will not work, so please don't ask about that. Alright, and the turbo spade going long range. Apparently some people think the turbo spade is supposed to go long range, but it doesn't. All the turbo spade does is allow you to mine three blocks at once, which you would normally do with the slower movement, but with the speed of the faster movement, alright? Um, those are pretty common issues. Again, some people on like small netbooks and stuff have been complaining about this client crashing. Yes, it will crash if your screen size is below a certain size, probably around 720p. Um, Alright. So I've kind of been hanging back from the action, but now that we know where our common enemies are at, we can go and find these last stragglers. Looks like the green team is going to win this round. Alright, so those are pretty much the few common issues that I've had. Some people have reported not being able to switch out. Um, so, you remember, Alt-Tab or Windows and the D key should both work for switching out the aimbot. Alright, so I think you guys get the point. This is enough for a quick tutorial on how to insert the aimbot. And here's some clips of me playing with the aimbot without me saying annoying stuff that might be distracting you, etc, etc. So, thanks for watching, guys.
Well, that's the aimbot, guys. Um, basically, you can either get it from my site or you can get it from this site, bethehacker.com. Right now, they're only offering um, Ace of Spades and Minecraft hacks, and of the Ace of Spades hack, there's the aimbot and the hack client. Uh, this is the same distinction I make on my site. They're actually both kind of hack packs, if you'd like to call it that, because they have more than aimbots. But I call this one the aimbot. This is the one we were uh, using today. Credits go to these guys for doing cool stuff. And um, basically you can find a tutorial how to use the same tips and troubleshooting that I talked about. Uh, except the screen size. I haven't seen that on here. Um, basically, hopefully I'll be making a video on the hacked client. It has lots more than... As you can see here, it has way more than um, the aimbot, but you can already try both of these out for yourself. Just to let you know, it's it's probably easier and ad-free to go on bethehacker.com to grab these hacked clients. Well, that'll be all for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.